Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are checking out Self Dissipation by Fumbly Bumbly! Easy medium difficulty, a short puzzle revolving around a light bridge which proves to be both your most useful tool and greatest enemy. And, I've noticed, we have started without a portal gun. Interesting. Let's get started, shall we? Fancy animations. Alright, I love the aesthetics. This looks a bit... strange, it's very industrial. It kinda reminds me of Metro by K7 Avenger. But man, the aesthetics around here... they're off the charts. This is how you do Puzzle Maker aesthetics right. <laughs> Just... look at this. Look at this. It looks so nice. Anyway, what do we have here? Interesting. That just shut off my light bridge. Okay. Well, at least we can get in here now, which is interesting enough. And if we take this off, the only way to get out is through here. Yep. Interesting. So it's gonna be a challenge to get the cube out here. Is this a no portals puzzle? I wonder. We might not get a portal gun at all. Hmm. It's been a long time since I've played a, a no portals puzzle, let alone a good one. I don't think I have played a good no-portals puzzle. Maybe I am supposed to have a portal gun. There's portal surfaces around here. Am I supposed to have a portal gun? <laughs> um... Am I supposed to have a portal gun? Without portal gun- okay, so, I'm not supposed to have a portal gun. So the white walls everywhere are just decorative. Good. Hmm. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. So looks like we're gonna have to cube swap to get out of here. Yeah. Cube swap to get the cube out of that. How do we get this cube out? I guess we can do- put it there? Ah, yes. Why didn't I think of that before? There we go. So now this cube's out. Oops, I meant to press E, not 3. Now we can swap these. This cube looks like it's already activated. <laughs> the color cubes don't actually change the color when they get activated and deactivated, unfortunately. Alright, so now we have a cube out here, and that one we can just respawn pretty easily. There we go. So now comes the question of... Ah... Ha ha ha! I think I see exactly what we're meant to do here. I think this is a Ghost Helper cube stack puzzle. Just like what Paper has made and what DGL has made. I think if we do... that, yes. Then when we press this button, the light bridge should be on just long enough for us to get to the exit. At least I hope so, otherwise I'm out of ideas. Aw, oh, crap. <laughs> that didn't seem long enough, actually. That seemed very much like it wasn't long enough, so maybe we actually want to do it on that button instead. Yeah, let's load our quick save, and we'll do it on the other button, because the other button, I've noticed, has a delay in order for the cube to drop onto the button, whereas the ghost... the ghost destruction delay isn't very long. Alright. This guy... And, uh, right, I've made a mess of this, haven't I? So we want orange on top. Yes, orange on top. Take this guy- oop! Again, I made the same mistake. Oh well. Fast speed works just fine for this. There we go. Uh, right, it respawns this cube. There we go. Do that. Drop that out of there. Take this, and put it on top. Ah, uh, let me adjust this, because it's slightly tilted. There we go, that's flatter. So now, it should respawn itself after this finishes fizzling, which has even more delay, yeah, yeah! Very nice work on a no-portals puzzle, Fumbly Bumbly. It's a shame 
that the Talos Principle doesn't have any cube respawn mechanics at all, so you can't make a puzzle like this in the Talos Principle. This is a portal-only puzzle. Excellent. Very nice work. Right. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!